Hi, welcome to ESP32 tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can control a servo motor using ESP32 microcontroller, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Let me briefly explain the servo motor. Servo motor is a type of motor that uh, the shaft can be controlled to move only 180 degrees or the half a cycle, half a circle, something like that. And then you can control precisely where it should be between 0 and 180 degrees. There are also other types of servo motors that, for example, there is something called continuous servo, which I have the link below it will rotate 360 degrees and you can control it uh, but these are the most common one and also you might get this type of servo motor which is very heavy with high torque it is the same way it can go 0 to 180 degrees and it will stop so this is MG966R version and this is the metal gear this is all metal and this is a plastic gear so this will be much cheaper like three or four or five times cheaper than this uh, but uh, in general this is the operation and you can control it so the servo motor has three wires the darker wire is the ground the five volts is always at the middle in case we you make mistake in terms of connection in rc or car or airplane so the middle is always five volts and this is a signal you might see it as a uh, black wire on this side red is always red and this side you might see white but doesn't matter so they are the same uh, uh, configuration is exactly the same ground 5 volts and signal Also, I have a video explaining how to control servo motor using potentiometer and ESP32. The link for that video is below this video in the description. Also, I have another video explaining how to control more than one servo motor using ESP32. The link for the video is also below this video in the description. Let me show you the wiring. The this is your 5 volts is at the middle and this is a signal where the signal goes to the servo to control it and I've extended using this uh, male connector to female on this side and I have, if you look at the uh, USB connector I've connected the ground here where it says ground and the 5 volts is connected to V5 in your uh, board if the 5 volt is somewhere else just find that pin and even if you have this type of board it will work just connect it to 5 volts of the pin here for example in here and then the signal pin is connected to pin 14 here it says G14 and the code we will just type 14 If you have not prepared it, you have to click on File, Preferences, and then uh, and this section, click. And this line that you see, I will provide you. You have to paste and include it here. And click OK, and click OK. I will provide you for that link. After that, go to Tools. At this point, Board, Board Manager. Wait for this to complete. It takes a while until you can type here. Now type ESP32. Once you typed it, in, in your case, you will see here install. Click install. In mine, it has already been installed, so I have the remove. So once you click on install, it takes a few seconds or maybe a minute. Everything will be installed. Then click on tools and select the port that your device is connected.
first you need to download the library I've taken the library from this address the credit goes to this Jarek Parrell who have created this content but I've updated this for this purpose I will provide you the link to this page and provide you the link that I've modified and works this will not work for you if you install it immediately because the servo uh, library in your Arduino will have conflict with this and it will not work you need to download the library as a zip file once you downloaded the zip file that I have provided click on sketch include library add .zip library and then in this screen point it to where you have saved it in my case for example if it was inside download and let's say this is a library select it and click open after that make sure to close all instances of uh, Arduino IDE close all of them because you won't be able to see the examples on the menu once you close it reopen it then go file examples scroll down and here you will see servo ESP32 and here click simple servo I've uh, provided the link to the original author but I have updated the library so it can work easily and this line it says include servo underscore esp32.h this is a header file from uh, library and then we define pen 14 in many cases it might be g14 printed on your board or just 14 that's a pen and then from this class we create an instance of it as an object we call it servo 1 here we define angle this is the angle where the servo goes so initial value will be here which will start at this value angle step how uh, often or at what step you want to increment it if you put it 5 it goes from 0 5 10 15 and so forth if you want to put 10 20 whatever you want minimum angle maximum ang angle I put it because sometimes in some application people need not the servo not to go all the way from 0 to 180 and they want to put certain boundary so you will be able to change it if you don't want to change it just leave it as 0 and maximum 180 inside the setup we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200 this is the value that if you click on tools serial monitor you will see it this uh, on the right side 115,200 if you select the wrong value for example 9600 you will see something like this so make sure to select the right value and then from the object that we created uh, from the object that we created here we say uh, servo one dot attach and servo pen this is as if we type 14 so this is attaching the servo to that pen that inside the loop it just gets position in degree starts from zero it's being incremented until it reaches 180 so this variable will go zero one because it's a for loop zero one two three up to 180 and then servo one dot right and we write the position degree here the servo move moves to the whatever angle this is if it is zero it goes to zero if it's hundred it goes to hundred and so forth and this also prints it and we give 20 millisecond delay so the servo can move after this is when it goes to 180 this is the opposite of that it starts from 180 and decrements this minus minus means decrement until it is above zero which means 180 it goes 170 60 and so forth one degree at, at a time until it, it is reaches zero and it will move the servo to that location prints it on the screen 20 millisecond delay and the loop will continue to take the same action here I've uploaded the code as you can see the servo is moving and it goes to from 0 to 180 degrees and then it goes back to 0 
Thank you for watching the tutorial from Robojax. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.